got a cool guitar for you guys today. Um, it's a pretty rare bird. And these were kind of easy and very affordable to get in the early 2000s. Um, before people started getting hip to how cool these old Made in Japan artist series Ibanezes were. Um, you could get these things for a super steal. Like I've I've seen people walk out of a music shop with these for like 350, 400 bucks. Um, <laughs> that's no longer the case. I believe these things are like no cheaper than 1600 bucks right now. And really nice ones are above two grand. Um, well, let's check this out. It is an Ibanez artist from 78, I believe, or 79. It is a model 2930. It's the predecessor to the AS200. You get this curly maple top. You get the old school grip, sure grip knobs you get the tri sound pickup selector which does a coil split and out of phase and a series humbucking you've got this awesome scalloped tailpiece heavy duty gibraltar brass uh heavy duty gibraltar um, tunomatic that i believe is screwed into another brass plate here in the center block and we've got flying finger super 80s aged out <laughs> we've got these pearl abalone inlay markers fret markers some big frets this is a refret by the way I think about four or five years ago I got this refretted the old frets were pretty flat and too short then we've got these old I think these are the Velvetunes super smooth 17 to 1 ratio tuners ebony fretboard maple back and sides yeah so what I was saying was um, I believe it's a um, mostly maple if not all maple guitar the back and sides is maple the center block is a maple block the neck is a maple neck with the ebony fretboard uh, it's pretty cool we got binding on the f holes binding all around pretty cool story on this one this is a guitar that kind of walked into the music shop that i was working at maybe about man must be like 12 13 years ago um, the music shop that I was working at here in Hilo Hawaii guy literally walks in with a trash bag that looks like there's a guitar stuffed into it and this beauty was in there pretty much same condition you get a little bit of checking but the finish is actually really nice. Fretboard's really nice. Get some aging and some wear on the binding on this one. Here you go. A little bit of that. So the funny thing about that, and I'll show a before picture of this guitar. Before I had a little bit of work done to it, you can kind of see the different color binding here. I know, not so good for a collector but like a guy like me who's a player i actually don't mind this little pink binding that my buddy did it's kind of cool but anyway literally the guy had it bondoed and if you don't know what bondo is it's what you use to fix like your <laughs> panels on your car you know like the side of your door if it's falling off or your hood you kind of use bondo to to help with auto body work and literally this guy had maybe seen a little bit of this wear happening on the binding and I think the actual wear was maybe about three or five inches that was really bad so the guy decided to bondo from here all the way 
way across to here. And it was about this much Bondo. It went maybe about a half inch in on the sides, but like a good solid inch or two inches on, on the back. And it was like this big strip of Bondo all the way around. Insane, right? Look how beautiful the wood was under it, underneath it. Imagine seeing a big, huge, messy, taped piece of taped Bondo on there. <laughs> So my buddy, who's a woodworker, he works, makes jewelry boxes and cabinets and furniture and really all kinds of stuff. He's been getting into some guitar repairs. He went ahead and filled the old binding with some putty he had and then just finished it with some, some nitro paint that he had. It's like a burgundy mist kind of color, which I honestly, again, I don't mind. I kind of like it. Adds to the story. I'm more into player guitars anyway. I'm not much of a collector but this piece is so cool and really really versatile sounds I mean a 335 can fit into quite a bit of musical situations but with the addition of the tri sound um, selector you can have it in full series mode a coil splitter or um, out of phase so pretty cool little little device here that adds to your tonal palette oh, the flame on this thing is ridiculous uh, I believe this was a lawsuit guitar and this is when they still were kind of doing the 335 body shape almost identical I think the AS200 the horns get sharper the body is a little bit more petite a little more a little smaller not quite as wide as like a 335 but uh yeah i just wanted to share this guitar with you guys i will um i will be doing a playthrough just to give you guys a vibe of what it sounds like but just couldn't wait to show you guys this one it's a super cool piece again this the highly sought after artist series of the 80s and 70s um, this is from the late 70s I believe let's look at this serial number yep a 79 with original tuners pretty much all original except for this little bit of binding here other than that nothing's been changed or switched besides this fret these frets the uh, frets that were on there I'm pretty sure were original because they were worn out Can't wait to uh, let you guys hear what this baby sounds like. Pretty typical 335 tone. Look at that neck, man. Pretty typical 335 tone with the addition of some single coil sounds and some out of phase funky guitar sounds. Um, amazing guitar. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will try to be uh, sharing and posting more videos of unique guitars that I come across. But this baby is sticking around. This one's my personal. Um, never ever really seen another one like it. Actually, there is one more in, in my town that's like really minty. Uh, this older Japanese guy who really takes care of his stuff has one of these bad boys that's just extremely mint well there you have it you guys another cool guitar from the six string journals i will be sharing more stories about cool finds and guitar hunting adventures till next time aloha